Hi Pisces, this is your reading for the week of July 4th. It's L here to do this reading. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Pisces, what we have is the Emperor, Six of Wands. Okay, the bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. All right, so someone could be married, could be coupled, um, could be in a long-term marriage here. I don't see this breaking up. Um, someone could be looking at someone as a potential marriage partner. Um, there could also be somebody who's married who's cheating. This card talks about the cheating scandal, strutting your stuff. Um, somebody won the battle but not the war in terms of getting away with something. Um, the pride before the comes before the fall here. Um, someone's forgetting where they came from, being very prideful. Understanding that they, there was a struggle here, um, or that they were in the struggle. Somebody's being very, very prideful at this point, at this time. Uh, what clarifies the emperor is the emperor. So some of you could be dealing with um, a Taurus, uh, Aries, uh, or just a married individual. Someone who's well into their career. Someone, This would be someone who sits on the board, board or chair, legal, I don't know. Something of that nature. Um, this is someone who could be trying to uh, travel towards you, Pisces. Um, they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to make some travel happen to come towards you. But they have to tell their wife or their spouse or their main partner. They have to tell them a lie um, to keep them pacified or they have to give some type of explanation. Whatever this person is doing, they're going to reap the, re the rewards of their karma. Um, this is definitely a third party situation. There's somebody waiting in the wing, in the wind, in the wings for this person. Um, this would be someone that they have had a long term affair with. We've got the Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the High Priestess showing up. So this is. Somebody waiting for this married individual to come and visit them, give them money, do something for them. Um, they have to pacify someone else before they do that. I don't see this person ever getting divorced or, yeah, um, leaving their marriage. This person could be telling you the sweet nothings coming towards you, having sex with you, good times, fun times with you. Could be a bit... You know, infatuated with the relationship altogether. Um, them being deceptive and trying to hide this, it looks like it's going to eventually come out when they do go back home or when they travel back. Again, I don't see anything breaking up or breaking down. It might be a period of you guys not being able to be together because this person is being heavily watched. They will reach out to you. Yeah, it might be a period of inactivity because of this third party situation. Um, so somewhat so it looks like the other person will start being clingy, wanting to be stuck to the other person. It's like Pisces, if you are the main woman, then your person has somebody else and they're gonna go visit this person. This is what they do. This is what they have done for a while. You find out about it. Then you start to get clingy and you want to know their every move. Um, and then I guess you loosen the reins or this person is like, you can't hold me down forever. So then they go see this person again. Um, this is somebody that they've been off and on with for a very long time and they will continue this. It looks like. It looks like this person just likes having you know, more than one person that they divide themselves in between. I think these two women serve their own purpose in their life, their own specific purpose in this man's life because the emperor is coming up twice. You're not going to tell the emperor what to do. I mean, he'll play ball with you for a while, but then that person is going to, you know, do whatever it is they want to do. 
I don't see, yeah, this person is um, tied to their home. They might be staying home a lot. Um, they're stuck in their relationship and they're not moving away from this because um, of empire, legacy, of what they're creating together, or what they have already created, the life that they have. Um, this is somebody who could be a grandfather, has older children, but they have somebody else on the side. They have a wife here. Um, yeah, this is somebody who's given the two different dynamics, and they like it. They like the the power dynamic that they are the giver, and there are two receivers to this. Um, they don't have any plans on moving away from this, okay, um, or making a permanent move towards the other person who's outside of the commitment, outside of the relationship. So this is your reading for this week, Pisces. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. Uh, also, you can donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Pisces. Many blessings to you. Get in on the new moon manifestation that is happening. The new moon manifestation session happening July 9th, this Friday. If you're trying to bring in new love, um, new streams of income, banish something or somebody or fear um, out of your life. Uh, stagnation and laz laziness, whatever it may be, um, get in on these new moon manifestations. Um, thank you, Pisces. All of the links will be below. Um, take care, guys.